you ideas on how you can use an agenda to create better one-to-one -one meetings. Now, by using an agenda, that doesn't mean you control and take over and dominate the meeting. Before you begin, uh, this will be the agenda. What? That we're going to use for our meeting today. And uh, this will be your homework. Please read this before we meet next time. And don't forget, you need to come up with 10 referrals for me. Seriously. A good one-on-one -on -one meeting, whether it's virtual or in person, should always begin with genuine rapport building. Let your guard down, get to know each other, smile. I do avoid things like politics and religion in these conversations, but there's plenty of things to talk about nowadays. Once there's enough genuine rapport built, I take the opportunity to set the agenda for the conversation. Hey, first, I'd like you to go. I've already done my homework though, read your bio, went through your website, so impressed. I need to know your business plan for success this year. What do you need for referrals and what role can I play in helping you get there? I'll summarize it when you're done so you can confirm I got a good handle on things and then I'll take my turn about me, my company, and what I need for my business relationships. And why don't we finish with some type of next step together that we can agree upon and stay connected. How does that sound? I gotta be honest with you. I've never had anyone in all of these years say, that sounds awful. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> There's almost this sigh of relief that now we have a track for our conversation. And when you're done regarding those next steps, put something in your calendar that you can agree upon and hold each other accountable to. That's how you continue to build deeper and more meaningful relationships over time. And by the way, it's okay to ask for referrals. 